I'm sure you're all familiar with the idea that if I have a length of string and there's some tension which is fixed at one end and I put a pulse on the string then the pulse will run down the string get to the boundary point and will run back again but you may not be familiar with the idea that the speed with which this moves is dependent upon the properties of the string and that is the same way if I illustrate it by means of a spring a long spring like this if I put a pulse onto the spring the pulse will run down to the boundary and come back up again and once again the speed with which the pulse moves on the spring is determined by the property of the spring the tension in the spring as well as the mass per unit length of that spring we're going to go just one step further than that and we're going to put a wave onto the string not just a single pulse and a wave is just a continuous set of pulses one after the other and what is going to happen is that the energy in the pulses will move down the string and they'll come back up the string and what we're going to do is we're going to look for some special frequencies and at those frequencies we'll get what we call a standing wave in a standing wave what will happen is that the wave pulse going down will be reflected in such a way that the waves going down the string are superimposed upon the wave that's coming back from the boundary point and where we get these superimpositions like this we see we get these node points and when we looked at these node points we can measure the wavelength lambda